All right, so I got a package from Bistro. Now I've done videos with them before, but it's been a few years. I actually visited their factory out in California. Do a little video there. So they do frozen meals, all vegan, all vegan factory, no cross contamination, because they only do vegan food there. So everything's still cold. Welcome to Bistro. They have different meal plans. We're gonna try these out. I'm not sure what I have here. Come here and look at this. Kind of take a look in there. All right, so first thing we have here, Beluga Lentil Braise. Isn't there a song, Baby Beluga in the Deep? <laughs> nice and cold, it's Beluga Lentil Braise. It comes with the heating instructions, preservative free, chef crafted, plant-based. And then there's all your vegan, kosher, and your nutrition facts on the back. You're not gonna be able to see that. What else do we have? Enchilada casserole, pasta bolognese. Bolognese. We got country fried chicken. That is, of course, vegan chicken. South Indian coconut stew. And we have red curry. So I'm looking forward to cooking these up, trying them out, and letting you guys know how they are. Cooking with the vegan zombie. All right, I'm gonna try this. Uh red curry first and it shows three different ways to prepare it you can either do the stove top the oven or the microwave i'm going to do it right on the stove top in uh in my cast iron so basically it just wants me to dump this in the cast iron and kind of stir it for 15 to 20 minutes frequently stir it not continuously okay, it looks like a little tv dinner here i think these are the rice cakes yeah so we just Dump it all in. I got the cast iron going and a nice heat over here. And we're just gonna pour that right in. Drop that heat in there, let it cook down for a little while. And we'll come back in a little bit. I see heat? Right Andy? Yeah. So that, there's what we got. We have the tofu, the cauliflower, carrots, broccoli. Uh, brown rice. All right, there it is. Uh, I mixed mine all together. You could make those rice cakes separately and then pour the curry over it. I just mixed it all together. It is done. I'm gonna plate it up and give it a little taste. There it is, nice and plated. That's what it's called, the red curry. Now we just gotta give it a try. One piece of tofu, broccoli, some of that rice. It's hot. All right, here we go. Hot. It's really good. It's got a lot of flavor in there. Sometimes, you know, packaged meals like this come pretty bland so you can kind of season it to your own taste, but I wouldn't change it at all. I wouldn't add any salt or anything to it. It's perfect. It's, it's really good. And it, it took me, what, 10, 15 minutes to make it, to heat it up on the stove. Yeah, the first one I tried gets a thumbs up for me. So uh, I'll see you guys later with the second one. Oh yeah, and I also made a little smoothie here to go with it. And it's really good. I'm getting a little hungry, so let's see what we have for dinner. Country fried chicken. So this is gonna go right in the oven. I wonder if it could go in the air fryer. All right, we're gonna preheat the oven, and that's what everything looks like. We got the chicken, that looks like potatoes and veggies, and it's got like a little gravy to go with it too. So let's go do that now. All right, so it says cook the chicken for 20 to 23 minutes in the oven. I did it for about 15 minutes in the air fryer, and look at that, nice and crispy. So there we go, we have this. Now we also have this gravy pack, which I just dunked in some hot water while I was cooking the other stuff. All right, and then I'm just going to pour this on it. Potatoes, veggies, and even the chicken. Let's get all that gravy out there. And there we have it. The country fried chicken. Chicken. Vegan chicken. All right, there we go. Let's try that out. It is really good. The breading is nice and crispy. Chicken, I'm not sure if they make their own or if they use like Gardein or something. It's just, it's really good. And the gravy, mm-hmm. It kind of tastes like those 
un turkeys by Gardein, if you want to know. Let's try some of these potatoes. I always liked the potato part of uh, TV dinners when I was younger. So. Yeah, they're good, they potatoes. All right, everybody, two for two on the vitro dinners. Um, I might go into tomorrow to do this uh, video. I'm not gonna eat them all in one day, obviously, but I just wanna show you each one that I make so you can see some of the plans that they have out there if you guys are interested in vitro. And again, I just wanna let people know that this isn't for like on a budget vegan because these do cost money, but for those of you out there that don't know how to cook or don't like cooking, just don't have time for cooking and want something easy, vegan, and delicious this is an option for you and I just want to showcase that so I'll see you guys on the next meal all right it's a new day and time for another one of these Vistro meals we got the enchilada casserole so I did what the instructions said and I put it in the refrigerator overnight for it to thaw and now I got the oven preheated at 375 and we're just gonna pop that in and that's what it looks like it's almost like a lasagna there, and it's got some uh, sauce, enchilada sauce. So let's do that. It says put on an oven safe baking sheet. I'm gonna use right here, let's get into some other light. Uh, I'm gonna use my cast iron, and we're just gonna put it in there, right, Zeke? And that's gonna cook for 25 minutes. Right, we are done. We're done. Yeah, that looks good. Let's get it on a plate. Kind of fall apart a little bit. Went a lot of sauce. There we go. And there's the meal. Right there. I need a fork. Dig right in. See how this tastes. Mmm. Smells good. It is good. It, it almost like melts right in your mouth. It's like an enchilada lasagna. Okay, we're ready for the next one. We have pasta bolognese. And this one is just gonna go straight in the cast iron. There it is. We're gonna go heat that up. As you can see, these are all really easy to make. You just throw them in the skillet or the microwave or put them in the oven. That's what it looks like after cooking it for Oh, about 10 12 minutes. Well, I don't know if this one right here looks too pretty But don't forget the most important part is How does it taste bear with me? I got the one hand here for the vlog so I'm holding the camera with one hand. So I got a piece of the noodle and The bolognese. Okay, here we go. Here we go Guys, so far, every one of these meals have been exceptionally good. It's delicious. I'm not just saying this. These, these meals are really, really good. I'm gonna go eat this up and I'll see you on the next one. South Indian coconut stew. Let's do it. It's just gonna go right on the skillet. I love it. That's gonna be the liquidy part. We got, I don't know what this is, tofu? And then we have rice. Looks like some brown rice. And that's what it looks like right out of the package. And if the other ones are an indicator, then this one should be delicious as well. Right, little dude? No, you're the big dude, you're the little dude. And this is what it looks like when it's done. All right, let's plate it up. South Indian coconut stew. Okay, so that's spinach, I believe, or maybe it's basil. Here goes. Oh wow, that's really good. There's a tad bit of a spice, but barely anything at all. Gourmet plant-based meals are delivered. And this one has 560 calories. So this is my dinner. I still have one more meal in the freezer. So I'm probably gonna eat that tomorrow. But for you guys, it'll be like this. Okay, last day and last meal. So we have here the beluga lentil braise. So let's get this, let's get this cooking. 
Yep, they're all easy. This is gonna go right on the cast iron. All right, frozen in time, like Han Solo and Carbonite. We're gonna unfreeze this. And here we go. All right, and there it is. Let's uh, plate that up. It smells good. All right, there we go. Finished product. Now we need to try it out. It smells so good. The Beluga Lentil Braise. My little taste test, and I'll tell you what I think of it. Well, I don't know how they did it, but every single one of these Vistro meals, they exceed expectations. They're all delicious. Every single one of them, and that's the main thing is, are they good? Are they good for you? They're 100% vegan. My, that was my honest review of every one of them. They're super, super, super delicious. If you're a vegan on a budget, this might not be for you, but if that's not a concern of yours and you're just looking for something quick, you don't like to spend time in the cook kitchen, you don't cook and you need something fast, this is definitely an option for you guys. Uh, that's really all I have for this video. I ate these over um, the span of about a week and I'm very pleased with it. So again, I'll link them below and until then, Thumbs up the video, share, subscribe, survive, watch out for zombies, and I'll see you guys in the next one.